Hello everyone, um, today I'm going to talk about um, this little animation I've made um, by making use of the um, collision deformer in Cinema 4D. Right, so uh, instead of making a step-by-step -step tutorial I'm going to break down the uh, final project. I think it's enough information for you to rebuild something like this. But first of all I'm going to show you um, how the um, collision deformer is working. So right here in Cinema 4D all you need to make um, the collision deformer work is something like a plane. You're going to add the collision deformer to it. Just dragging it in here and you have to tell the collision deformer which object you collide with just drag it in and when you move around your object you can see that there is some bumping or bending going on right it's pretty nice so you have different mode, modes or solvers for the um, intersection so it's set to intersect and when you move around you have something like this. It's a little bit like a meta ball. Um, or this is more like a meta ball. You have um, settings for the um, for for things like the relaxation, so you can adjust the uh, the appear the appearance just play around with it and um, let's choose another mode let's choose outside so you have something like this and if you want to add some extra extra layer of um, secondary animation um, you can add the jiggle deformer for example just drag it in here and when you start the playback start the playback and you move the uh, ball around you can see um, the influence of the jiggle deformer and it's adding kind of a delay animation to the uh, surface so it's quite nice okay there's one thing um, one thing I've forgotten is um, when you increase the uh, number of segments you have a smoother a smoother bending okay um, so let's have a look at the uh, original project so I've created a few nulls and I've uh, put my stuff inside so I can show you one after another what I've done so the first thing I created was um, a rigid body dynamics animation. I've made a grid array cloner with a small small ball inside. I've added the rigid body dynamics tag to it and I also created a bigger ball with a radius of 90 centimeters. I've added a rigid body collider tag to it so and inside of my rigid body collider tag there is an attractor object I don't know is it an effector or whatever but you can find it um, in the particles window attractor there are, there are a few different other effectors and they're quite nice and they work with um, they work with the um, mode dynamics right so the attractor was set to uh, 1000 in strength and 200 in speed limit and actually there is um, a little keyframe animation toward the end of the animation and it's just you know decreasing the strength to down to zero so um, the balls f are flying towards the bigger ball and then they roll down and around frame 90 they are dropping off right and to make um, the balls 
um, stick to the surface. You have to adjust the dynamics um, gravity a little bit and uh, to do that you have to press command D um, you go to dynamics and in the general tab you uh, um, you set the gravity down to 5 so 5 works pretty well in here in my project right so when you play the back you should have something like this so but the idea was to have a surface that surface that is reacting like a soft body dynamic to the to the balls and to do that uh, I've created a second animation part here and here inside we have another ball which is just a little bit bigger than my rigid body ball just a radius of 100 and it has a higher uh, amount of segments just around uh, 128 so let me switch it off on so you see we have quite a dense uh, mesh for uh, for the uh, collision deformer and I've just added the collision deformer to my to my ball um, choose my um, Choose my cloner object for the collider, set it to outside volume and just play around a little bit with the settings here, add a jiggle deformer, play around with the settings here and um, then for the final step I just uh, went through all my animations and bake them. So you go to your rigid body tag bake your animation and you go to your collision deformer catch bake your animation and do the same thing with your jiggle deformer and this was the uh, this was uh, my final result here right you can see those gray spots here and this is because I've forgotten to switch off the visibility of my rigid body uh, rigid body ball so let's render it again okay <clears throat> so that's a trick you actually have two two balls one with a collision deformer and the other one is just invisible so and to uh, create that material um, just made a new material color channel and in the color channel I had a Fresnel shader with um, a gradient from white to from white to black as usual and um, I had a luminous channel with um, the ambient occlusion effect applied to it so just default settings with the um, gradient from black to gray okay and yeah that's it of course I had a camera in the background and um, yeah that's it I hope it's useful and you know how to recreate it please drop me a line if you have any further questions and yeah see you soon have fun bye bye